A very, very special welcome to the one corner of the world where, as a football lover, you would most want to be today. England's North East on Derby Day. For the 142nd time in all competitions, it is Newcastle versus Sunderland, Tyne against Weir. Just hear the noise. This is the day when, as the music to which they enter the arena suggests, St James's Park will unveil, for sure, one way or another, a new local hero. It's a meeting, this one, all the more feverishly anticipated for the fact that it's a year and a half plus since the last one. But after a year away, Newcastle are back in the Barclays Premier League and ready to welcome their favourite neighbours and enemies. Spit and sawdust, fire and passion, black and white, red and white. Tyne and Weir, Derby Day, nothing else in the world matters. So 50,000 on in St James's Park and many, many thousands who would love to be in St James's Park. This is about them, this, now, and nothing besides. And here is one man to whom it means as much as possibly it could. Andy Carroll, number nine for Newcastle, as he grew up dreaming to be. Jose Enrique and Carroll driving it against Anuaha to win the game's first throw. Machini calm enough. Amiobi, Nolan. Gutierrez. Oh, he's done well to keep it here. Jonas Gutierrez, wonderful covering from fullback by Bartley. Shape pass from Barton in by uh, Gutierrez against Anuha behind for a corner. At the Gallagher end. Williamson adds height. Carroll has plenty of that already. Turner has them both in his sights. Bramble has a marking job to do as well. In by Barton. Carroll! Oh, and Colaccini hurled himself at it too. And neither was able to uh, penetrate a wall on the line, really. Both posts covered, goalkeeper got a terrific touch also in there. Michael Turner takes a chance, he's got his eye on the ball, he's not got his eye on his opponent, look, he is ten yards away. You know, the, the best header of the ball in Newcastle's team is Andy Carroll, and he's getting a free header six yards from the goal. Barton's take, Williamson attacking it, back stick, Bramble partially clear, Enrique... Scraped out by Anuaha, moved on by Tiote for Joey Barton! Good save, good low save. Poor defending, really poor defending. As, we, as I've just said, Joey Barton takes all the set pieces, he's got a lovely... Go and close him down, go and close him down. Nobody closes him down, he gets a free shot at goal. I think that's going in the bottom corner. It's a great save, it is, it's a great save. Barton's corner, Williamson in there, no run! Jordy Joy! A pile of Jordy Joy! The North East for now is black and white, and it's Captain Kevin Nolan with a head over heels finish. Great improvisation. Once again, attacked by everybody. He's back to goal. There's nothing he can do here. But just watch, watch how he improvises. He has to think quickly, drops down and hooks it with his right foot. Goalkeeper comes out, he doesn't have his hands in the air to try and block it. I just don't think he thinks Nola can do anything with it. What a finish. The captain of Newcastle United with a skipper's goal. Gutierrez. Nola. Gutierrez. Carroll. Beyond Amiobi. Nola! Two! Sunderland search for a flag! Nolan's not waiting to ask! Newcastle have daylight between them and their neighbours! And it's Kevin Nolan again! They all look across to the assistant, looking for the flag. The flag never arrived. Shoddy defending from Sunderland, absolutely shoddy. Now, is Amiobi in an offside position right in the middle of the screen? Well, he's not in, in play, is he? And this one here, you can just see, He's standing in an offside position. 
That ball goes through to Nolan, who isn't, so the new rules would say that he isn't effectively in, involved in the play. Just there, does he obstruct anybody? Does he get in the way? An excellent finish from Nolan, but they're all looking across the assistant. A fine finish for Nolan. Well, the pressure now. <laughs> Two to the good. Newcastle United. You won't see a more illustrative picture of happiness than that. Oh, he goes Gutierrez, he's gone over. It's a penalty. In first half stoppage time against Nerva Nurha for a foul on Jonas Gutierrez. And he has been booked. Clumsy. Absolutely clumsy. Michael Turner's got the situation under control there. He's coming from the outside. There's no question, and the referee gets that absolutely spot on. Three goals up at half time. What a chance this is. Kevin Nolan, the captain, is not going up in search of a hat trick, nor should he. You want your main man on a penalty on Derby Day. Shola Amiobi with four previous Derby goals. 3 0! <laughs> the Magpies are flying! They'll take some catching now. Incredible. No one could have predicted their scoreline at half time. It's just bordering on humiliation for Steve Bruce and Sunderland and Sunderland fans as well. I mean, what a penalty. And if there's ever an example of where to put it, just inside the bottom corner, inside the post, it's virtually unreachable, even if the goalkeeper goes early. Kept his composure, kept his concentration, dispatched it very well. Henderson's take, Bentley, Colaccini away, in by Bartley! Like a good save to me. Oh, cut down bravely amongst some feet there. Decent strike, it is going into the far post, but yeah, good firm hand there. Gutierrez, that's a uh, lovely feather like take, and Carroll oh. is looking to go beyond Bramble who has uh, upended him and uh, knows that he's going to have to have his name taken here. There are some, there are plenty crying oh. off, and he is off! Titus Bramble returns to St James's in the colours of Sunderland and is dispatched to make a hideous day still worse for Steve Bruce. Well, I can only think that that must be for the last man, because I don't, I don't think that warrants a red card myself. Takes that ball in. Is it a clear goal-scoring opportunity? Well, he had a lot still to do, didn't plenty, he? Plenty. Plenty still to do. It's a clumsy challenge. This is what we're talking about in the first half. That's a lovely pirouette from Carroll out of trouble. Amiobi, Simpson, Barton's wide. Carroll's through the middle. Amiobi's getting forward to Simpson face-to-face -face with Turner. And Carroll against the crossbar! And it's coming up for Amiobi! They've really had it so good! Newcastle United living their collective dream and rubbing the noses of their neighbours right in it. Nolan 2, Amiobi 2, Newcastle 4, Sunderland 0. Oh, great play here from Danny Simpson getting round the outside. Just fancied Andy Carroll here, far post, climbing over everybody to head it in. He just hits the ball, but look at Amiobi, great agility here. The ball sitting up high, little scissor kick, connects with it really well, and he really doesn't give it I mean, you know, like any chance whatsoever. It's thundered into the back of the net. You say with 70 minutes gone, it doesn't get better than that. Barton with a waist and Amiobi Nolan! Jordy Hattrick on Derby Day! A captain's hat-trick in the game that matters most. Newcastle 5, Sunderland 0. More than they possibly could have dreamed. Oh, great set-piece once again. No one's marking, Shirley Amiobi comes in the near post, gets the first flick, and then Nolan, who's on an hat-trick, is the mo one of the most dangerous men in 
in the black and white shirt, nobody marks him. Just look where he comes. He stands right in front of Manuelet, and there's comes off, gets himself in that little space there, fantastic. An instinct for goal. That's what he's got, an instinct for goal. Henderson's corner is a good one, and Bent is in. And Sunderland have the merest, merest consolation. Darren Bent again with his sixth goal of the Premier League season, which fails to draw a smile from either the centre forward himself or yeah. indeed his manager. Well, good sniffing. He's hardly had a kick and just comes off his marker, gets himself in between the goalkeeper and the guy who's heading the ball. And what they're trying to say is Tim Kroll's got that in his hands, he hasn't. That's the first header, you have to say, that Andy Carroll's lost. And that's good poaching, that is. The perfect day. It just does not get better than this for the people of Newcastle United. The enemy came, saw and were hideously conquered by Kevin Nolan and a team of Newcastle local heroes around him. The skipper grabbed a hat-trick, Shola Amiobi, who makes a habit of scoring in these fixtures, worsened those growls and grimaces with two of his own. And Sunderland go home with tails between legs, the most humiliating of derby defeats. Newcastle climb above them in the Barclays Premier League into the top seven on the back of a 5-1 win in one of the most memorable derbies in recent history.